Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Um, in today's one, this is the next episode of my dream series. Um, and today we're going to be heading to Candy Shake, uh, which is Twinkle Crossing's island. I'm very excited to come here. You can see the dream address right at the top of the screen right there. Um, yeah, I, I know I've, I've, been, I've actually recorded this video once before. I will admit I had some computer issues when I recorded it. So, But it's been a couple of days since I did that take. So we're, we're trying again today here. And yeah, so I'll try to act as surprised as I can about seeing things. Um, I have been here on a stream before in the past, so it's not all a complete surprise, but <laughs> sadly there are a couple of surprises that, um, <laughs> well, you know, my, my first reaction to won't be there. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go head off to uh, Candyland. Candy Shake, sorry, not Candyland. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about there. You can see it in the, in the corner right there. Yeah, so here we are. Um... Welcome to Candy Shake. Uh, this is going to be a really nice little island to go and visit. So let's go and check out the island map um, as we always do in this series. Uh, we got Lacey, we've got, who is our uh, town rep, and then we got Cookie, Sylvia, Gruff, Philbert, Pinky, Frida, Annalise, Tavi, Gala, and, or Gala, and Whitney. Yeah, very, very cute. Very cute selection of villagers. It's very definitely a very uh, kind of um, kind of uh, a colorful island for sure. Um, I love seeing these hearts here and that's kind of welcome sign as well. Yes, I do remember this island entrance pretty well. It's right here. You can kind of see these little uh, nice little uh, hopping stones to kind of arrive here, which is very very cute. Oh, a nice little welcome sign with the mailbox. Oh, and yeah, her house is right up here, so we might as well go here first actually. Five stars, baby. Nice job. Um, and yeah, I like the whiteboard in the background. Yeah, let's head up to her house first, and then we'll kind of go and wander around from there. Okay, yeah, I'm remembering some of this from the stream, too. Um, I like how kind of she ha seems to have labeled some of her homes, or some of the rooms at least, or that one at least. Um, yeah, and this is like the first anniversary cake and everything. Yeah, let's go check out these rooms. Okay, so this one said catnip, I think. I think this is like a little cafe. Oh, maybe it's called catnip. Maybe that's right. Oh, that's really cool. I love the gyros kind of back here. Little colorful ice cream cone. Um, and the nice little place you can sit and chill. It's like a little cafe slash kitchen slash living room. Maybe more of a living room set, maybe. I feel like it's more of a living room kind of situation. Which is very, very cute. Yeah, I like it. I like seeing the Valentine's Day heart carnations here too. Awesome. Okay, what we got going on here? Here's like the bathroom area. I like these, like, I think these are custom patterns. These are very cute. Um, and yeah, just a nice little bathtub with the little uh, dreamy stuffed animals, I think, up top. And the nice little Christmas stockings. Very cute. Okay, yeah, I remember her bedroom here too. Yes. I like, I like how she has like the candy shake design and the little uh, crescent moon. I feel like that's kind of a feature maybe. Uh, right by her bed here, and then we got the, this little work desk again the 22 fairy core That was the word I was looking for earlier fairy core and this like nice L LCD sign very very cool Yeah, so I, I like this little bedroom. I like the, the, the everything going on here Yeah, the bedroom. I remember this is so cool when I first came in here Yeah, look at that. Look we got the um, I think that's some of the Sanrio Hello Kitty stuff on the floors. I wonder if- I don't remember seeing that last time. Maybe she updated it since that first take. We got a music box here playing some music and, and jingle as well. Very cool. And then we got- uh, maybe this is her but this is like her fairy bedroom. Maybe she has like two bedrooms. Um, but anyways, yeah, I really like this room. It makes use of the uh, Sanrio furniture, which I haven't really seen much of, so it's always cool to kind of see it because I don't have any of the uh, amiibo or amiibo cards or anything for that. Very cute. Alright, so heading back outside, let's go head down. I appreciate the vines here, so you can easily get up and down onto this little plant. So let's go head around to the island now, now that we've seen the house. Um, so here we've got some of where the shops are. I like this little kind of like pity pool right here. 
Um, and if we head down this way, uh, we can see we have a little like kind of a relaxing yoga mat here. Um, and I love how she's decorated the beaches here too. It's kind of it's like a almost a wedding vibe that I can see here, or like a nice little like a uh, uh, romantic getaway or something. Very cute. I like all these little custom confetti and padding and everything as well. And the weeds here that just kind of adds to that. I feel like very cute. Um, oh, it looks like we're stuck on this side, so we got to go back around. Um, that's all right. Yeah, so I, I really like this area. Um, over here, I think this is like, this looks very similar to the uh, space star design that I used for my uh, mini game, if you remember that, that we played. And so it was just in the background. And then here's Candy Street, which is cute. We've got Enter, the entrance to Candy Street. Oh, and here are the, um, the Crescent Moon chair things that uh, I think we saw in that uh, picture, which is very cute, next, next to Nooks and the museum as, as well. Um, Oh, that's cool actually you know, your fountain here, we're having this like little river thing kind of streaming around. Um, it's some showers over there with the pinky having a nice sunset stroll on the beach. A nice little picnic area up here. Very cute. Yeah, I love all the different flowers everywhere as well. It's very, very cute. Um, head around this way. So here seems to be like the, the villager town area that, you know, that the home, neighborhood. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Is that saying like storm, stormy weather or something coming this way? Or, 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 oh, oh, no, 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 that's not saying that. That's saying this is where the, um, the, the stargazing area is, I think. Maybe that was what you saw over there. I can't remember. Um, and then up over right here is the April Sisters with the, uh, mannequin. I remember. Very cute. Um, oh, and she's spread out welcome here. And then I like how it has the hours, too. I think another island I went to had that same idea as well. I just found that really fun. Um, we missed there was a sphinx over to the left over there, if you saw it. Um, I don't know if we can jump across here. <laughs> Mario can't jump. I, I feel like if I'm dressed as Mario in the game, I feel like I should be able to like jump a lot better. So that would be, that'd be a fun feature. Also, what am I getting stuck on here? Oh, there's like a bed or a couch or something right there. Okay, well anyways, we could jump over here, so no worries. Um, let's get over to the right this way. Let's see what we can find over here. Uh, m more of the fun padding. Oh, it's kind of like road here that leads to nowhere almost. And then here we've got this like, Santa sleigh, a bunch of clothes. This is where oh, this is where we saw that side from earlier. I see. Um, yeah, a nice little kind of like I guess leading us to Abel Scissors almost kind of like seeing all the different clothes here. Uh, we have the campsite. I like how the campsite kind of blends into some of the villager homes, so they can feel like they're oh, this is what life would be like here on Candy Shake. Would you want to stay or leave? <laughs> well, however you want to do it. Uh, we can head up here as well. Um, again, more villager homes, more flowers. Move out of the way. <laughs> uh, more of the same up here. Oh, and here, down here, that's where I want to be. Okay, give me one second while I make my way down from here. Okay, we just about made it up to that area here that we saw from up there. Oh, I just like the little padding everywhere here. I think that's some of rainbow design and some other of the uh, padding here as well. Kind of like a little like a tester kind of seeing what you like but I just kind of like how it's all like co combined all together though and this has kind of log bench by the tree as well and then and then all the mood uh, like all the mood that seems to be the theme here they're very fairy kind of colorful sort of theme that we got going on and then back here I love how you uh how she lined the uh the padding here the, the sidewalk with like this kind of stone and log padding but it was on the beach so it kind of helped just add some texture to the sand it adds some texture to the beach as well um, what we missed was going on over that direction, because we were walking along the beach. Um, yeah, because we, we saw that, we got a nice little pond. Okay, just some more padding, I think, it's in the wooden design. And then we can head down this way, and this kind of takes us back. Oh, this is where, oh yeah, I was trying to get to. Oh, now, it, now he jumps it. <laughs> he didn't jump it before. And we kind of make our way back around over here to the April Sisters. Very cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now... The one thing I do remember about this town that I saw before, and I'm glad that I, I do remember in one sense, is she has decorated some of the villager homes. <laughs> With the Happy Home Paradise DLC, you can get to a point where you can actually decorate the villagers' homes, and they're so well done. So we're going to check out a couple of them here today. Um, it definitely. <laughs> yeah. Just look at this room. <laughs> Again, the moon chairs, it's matching Filbert's color. See how there's the uh, the siding all around here? 
this is incredible. <laughs> this is amazing. And I, lo I love seeing this like string light thing, almost like it's being held together by these two, um, the two uh, partition walls. It's so well done in the little froggy chair back here in the corner. What does Pilbert have to say? <laughs> We're to sleep wherever you get sleepy. Okay. I think he said something more exciting last time. But yeah, anyways, it's so cool. Let's go check out another, another villager home. Oh, so here we got Tabby's home. I actually hadn't seen this last time. I don't know if there's different villagers awake now. Oh, this is neat. I like the little toilet, too. Um, and all the books and everything. Oh, and she has like a nice little laptop where she can do her work. Um, a small little kitchen area. So it's kind of everything that she needs in this one little space. Which is kind of like what you feel like a... Oh, that's really cute. You can kind of like chill and... Oh, there we go. You can kind of chill in bed and then like watch TV or something. You can turn it on too. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Tabby has a very cute home here. So I haven't actually seen it in, in, in uh, yet. So very cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, Tabby's house is just next door to Philbert. Let's go like kind of see if anyone else is home and then kind of make our way, you know, start to make our way kind of back. Oh, this was the home that I saw first. Let's, let's go check out this house really quick. Whitney, I think. Yeah, this is where I was first like, whoa, she actually like decorated. Well, I saw the outside and I thought that it seemed something like she would have done. But again, using the partition wall to kind of block off the little, little cute little cubby area here with the books and the stereo. And then here you can kind of watch TV. It's so cool. And then having the little kitchen area as well in the bedroom. Again, it's it's really cool. And she's mad that I'm in your space. So I'm sorry, Whitney. I will uh I will get out of here. <laughs> so yeah, oh man, that was just the most incredible thing. Oh, this little like this little uh path down here with the little pink um star I'm gonna call it a star bit from Mario Galaxy because I have I have that game on the brain. Um but yeah, it's so cute, it's so cute. It's such a, such an awesome fairy core vibe to uh, island. Um, oh, I remember seeing this too. The brick blocks, I didn't mention this before, how they kind of extend this terraforming structure right here. I think that's kind of just a really cool little little build and kind of little structure right here. So yeah, there, there's so much more to see. I, I honestly, I love this island. It's very well done. Great job on it. Um, I can't wait to see more updates. We even missed all everything over here. There's like pancakes up here. Um, I'll just kind of do a very quick scroll through here got a little desk there and a nice little kind of christmas tree area and then the warp i completely missed this i forgot where that takes you where did the warp cut take you again um oh did you take you down oh it takes you down here yeah if we missed all this area i forgot well, all the stuff on the beach here oh now i rushed through it no uh I'm just seeing this little kind of like kitchen area a little cute dollhouse and everything anyways go check out this island it's definitely worth a visit um I'll, I'll sleep here on this gazebo area and all I wish you would do so anyways yeah thank you so much Trickle Crossing for letting me visit your island um I do have a couple more that I haven't gone through yet I'm, I'm gonna do these slowly I'm sorry um but again remember as always if you want me to visit your island just leave a dream address in the comments below and I will come and do it in a future episode of the series um I will also go ahead and plug for if you're watching this around the time of release um I'm planning, hopefully, to do an Animal Crossing stream on Saturday. Um, either way, if I do or if I don't, I'm also hoping to do it on Monday, because Monday is festival in the game. Um, so we can go and celebrate that together and have a good time. So if you missed the Animal Crossing content, don't worry. It's becoming going to be coming back pretty soon. Um, I do have a bunch of Mario stuff I've been doing recently, kind of playing through my Super World and Mario Maker. So that's every Sunday. And then I am taking a break from covers as well, but I do have a pretty big music project coming towards the beginning of March, middle of March, maybe. I can't remember exactly when that will be out on the channel, but look forward to some of that coming on the channel in the future. And yeah, feel free to share uh, the Dream series with other people, other friends who you might want to have um, their, their, their islands uh, featured on the series. And yeah, I'll leave you at that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.